Hi Taurus, this is Wendy from Wendy's Tarot. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be doing a freestyle reading, taking a look at the current energies between you and your person, whoever it is that you are connecting to and dealing with in love. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Just as a reminder, these are general readings. They might not resonate for everyone, but if it resonates for you, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'd really appreciate it. Keep in mind, roles can be reversed sometimes in these readings. And also my readings are for sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs. All right, here we go. Let's take a look at what are your person's current feelings for you. Let's see. Spirit angels and guys, please show me how does this person currently feel about Taurus? Whoever it is that Taurus is connecting to and dealing with and love currently. What are this person's current feelings for Taurus? Thank you, Spirit. How does this person currently feel about Taurus? The person of Taurus is mine in regards to love currently. How do they feel about Taurus? All right, we do have the page of wands. Could be a fire sign, Aries, Sagittarius, or Leo. So it does look like they're thinking about messaging you, communicating with you. There's passion, there's attraction. This is someone who's interested in connecting with you. Tell me more about this person's current feelings for Taurus spirit. How does this person currently feel? Oh, okay. Well, there we have it. Lovers. So yeah, there's definitely passion and attraction. Very strong connection that they feel with you. Could be a Gemini. It kind of looks like this person can't stop thinking about you. They can't get you out, out of their head. This could be kind of a newish person with a page. Could be a newish person for you. Because it does look like they're very, like, um, captivated by you and enthralled by you and seduced by you. Huh. Okay. Kind of feels like a little bit of a stalker energy also. I'm getting a little bit of a stalker vibe for some reason. Tell me more about this person's um, current feelings for Taurus. How does this person currently feel about Taurus? Okay, we do have the two of swords. I feel like this is you, Taurus, for some reason. Yeah, I do. Yeah. This person feels like they can't get through to you. They feel like they can't, can't get through to you because you're very closed off. Um, you've cut communication or you've limited communication with them. You're not reciprocating um, their attention or their desires with you or their feelings for you. You're very detached. Well, let's confirm that. So let me just go to your side real quick. Spirit, how does Taurus feel about this person? What are Taurus's feelings for this person currently? What does Taurus currently feel about this person? Thank you, Spirit. Oh, okay. 
we do have the Ace of Wands here. So there's passion and, uh, and attraction on your side as well. You do feel passion, desire, attraction for them. Tell me more about Taurus's feelings for this person currently. We have the star. Hmm. You're wishing for something. You're wishing to receive something from this person. You're waiting to receive something from this person. There, there is some sort of expectation you're carrying. Tell me more about um, Taurus's feelings for this person. Oh, okay. Well, there we, there we have that sword energy. Five of swords. So it does kind of look like you did... Um, Close yourself off to this person with the Five of Swords here. Yeah, I don't know why. We do have the Nine of Wands here, so this is an energy of being guarded, being defensive. Tell me about the Five of Swords connected to Taurus's feelings, Spirit. Why the Five of Swords? In regards to Taurus's feelings for this person. The Three of Wands. Oh, okay. Well, this person wasn't delivering. Three of Wands is, again, kind of like an energy of you waiting for this person. Waiting to receive something from this person. Some of you are some of you are wanting or are waiting for this person to step up to the plate in some way. To be bold in some way with the ace of wands. You're not convinced by them. They're not impress they're not impressing you. You do feel attracted to them, but they're not impressing you. You don't feel like you can completely trust them. Tell me about the star in regards to Taurus's feelings for this person. Why the star? Why is the star how Taurus currently feels about this person? Ten of Pentacles. Oh, okay. So that's what you want. You want a long-term commitment here. You're wishing for something stable, something concrete. Something committed, something long term. You're not. You're not looking to play games here. But you don't. You don't feel like this person is proving themselves to you. You don't feel like this person has shown you, that, you know that they're the type of person that you can invest in and have a stable, secure relationship with. So it does look like you kind of walked away or you kind of blocked this person out with the Five of Swords. You disconnected from them because you felt like they were wasting your time and you felt like they weren't really proving themselves to you. They weren't showing you that they're someone who you can trust and who you can invest in. Hmm. So something this person did or something this person said made you feel like they're not the one. You know, at, at the beginning, you might have you might have felt like maybe they're the one for you, you know, and with the star card here, like maybe just maybe this is the right person for me. Maybe just maybe, um, you know, I've, I've found someone who I can settle down with and have a true commitment with, but I feel like it changed. 
five, the, f- the number five is all about changes. So I feel like things change. Your perspective of this person changed. Um, and it does look like it's due to something they did or said or something they didn't do and they didn't say. And it, it made you feel like, okay, I need to, I need to continue exploring other options with the three of wands because this doesn't look like this is the right person for me the way I had thought initially they could be with the ace of wands okay so those are your current feelings Hmm. interesting all right let's go back to this person I'm gonna put you over here so it just it kind of looks like you didn't communicate i feel like that's what's going on here also because this person looks a little bit oblivious to your feelings and your thoughts you know so i kind of feel like you might have disconnected from this person without really explaining to them why you were disconnecting you know Now, I do feel like this person, you know, can feel that you've become distant and that, you know, you've become disconnected from them. But I don't, I don't think they know why, you know? I don't think they know exactly why. And I feel like this person is still carrying this energy of wanting to wanting to win you over wanting to get your attention because they they still feel a very intense connection with you a very intense um, attraction to you so they want to take action towards you but they feel like they feel like you're not giving them access you know All right, let me clarify their feelings. Spirit, clarify the page of wands in regards to how this person currently feels about Taurus. Clarify the page of wands in regards to how this person currently feels about Taurus. Clarify the page of wands. that we have the two of swords here oh i mixed the deck up all right that's all right yeah i have two different decks that got mixed up but that's okay that's just um emphasizing the energy all right so again with the two of swords this person feels like like you're not letting them in you know you're not letting them in you're not allowing them to you're not giving them the chance but you feel like you've already given them the chance you feel like they've you've already given them the chance and they kind of you know messed it up in some way but i don't see this person giving up on you. I see this person still wanting to continue fighting for you, you know? All right, let me do this again with the right deck. Spirit, tell me about the page of wands. Clarify the page of wands in regards to this person's feelings, true feelings for Taurus or current feelings for Taurus. Yeah, here we go. The chariot card, you see? They don't want to give up. This is someone who's very um, persistent. Yeah, they're very persistent and they're very, um, you know, focused on, on what they want. Which is you. They want you. 
And at least right now in this current energy, I feel like this person is not going to accept defeat. So I do feel like they are planning on approaching you and reaching out to you. For some of you, they might show up physically um, where you live or where you work or you know wherever they know that you that you visit because the chariot can represent um, seeing someone face to face in person. I feel like this person wants to see you face to face. All right, tell me about the lovers in regards to this person's current feelings for Taurus. Why the lovers? Yeah, four of pentacles, they're holding on to you. This is kind of like an energy of when you're holding on to something and, and you're not letting it go. So this person kind of refuses to let go of of what they want with you, of what they want to achieve with you, which is a relationship, a union, a partnership. Yeah, they're very stubborn, by the way. I feel like this person is very stubborn. Okay. They're very stubborn about what they want. Tell me about the Two of Swords, Spirit. Why is um why is there feelings current feelings for Taurus the Two of Swords? I wonder what this person did to mess things up with you. Why is the Two of Swords their current feelings for Taurus? We have here the Emperor. Okay, so this is how they're looking at you. They're definitely intimidated by you. Um, they're definitely recognizing that you're someone who's very mature, very serious. Um, you're someone who knows your worth. You're someone who's very um, uh, committed to your values, committed to, to your beliefs, to your truth. You're someone who's very confident, someone who's very self-sufficient, independent, stable. So they recognize that you're not someone who's playing games. You're not someone who is interested in playing games by any means. But they're not, but that's not causing them to run away from you, which is interesting. I feel like they're up for the challenge. With the, with with the page of wands and the and the emperor, this person, they know that you're not going to be easy, like or that you're not going to make it easy for them. They know that you're going to um, put up a lot of resistance and they know that you're going to test them and you're going to challenge them, but it's like they're up for the challenge, honestly. You know? They're a little bit intimidated, but honestly, not that much. Not that much. They're up for the challenge. They, they want to please you. They want to give you what you want. They want to prove themselves to you. They're convinced. It's like this person's convinced that that you're the one for them, that you're their soulmate, that you're their twin flame, you know, whatever it might be. And honestly, the fact that you're presenting yourself in this way, you know, with this energy of, you know, being serious and being independent and being self-sufficient and confident in yourself, it's just causing them to to, it's just causing them to feel even more attracted to you. Yeah. The more you resist them, the more attracted this person gets to you. The more attracted they feel. And this person 
this person feels like they can they can win you over with consistency this person plans on being very consistent with you that's their strategy you know you know they might give you your space with the two of swords and the emperor they might give you your space but they'll be back you know they'll be back because they're just kind of fixated on you. They don't really see themselves being with anybody else or wanting anybody else. Like they feel like you're they feel like you're the total package and it's not it's not going to get any better than you. They're not going to find anyone better than you. So they're not even bothering to look at any other options. You know? They're just very focused on you and, and what they want to achieve with you. And I feel like they, they're committed to, to achieving victory with you, with the chariot card. Okay. Well then. But you seem to have, you seem to have backed away from this person. It does look like at first you were kind of enthusiastic or you were kind of hopeful for something to come out of this connection. But like I said, it looks like they did something or said something that just kind of put you off with the Five of Swords. And you're not really, um, you're not really as open to them anymore. So yeah, I don't know what's going to happen. Let's see what actions this person is going to take towards you moving forward. Let's just, let's go straight into that. Let's see. Spirit angels and guides, what actions is this person going to be taking towards Aries moving forward into the future? Moving forward into the future, what actions will this person take towards Aries moving forward? What actions? What actions? All right, we have the three of wands in regards to their actions, okay. What action? Six of wands and the knight of cups. What did I tell you? Look at the, look at this person. They're going to come towards you with a lot of confidence. Six of wands, six of wands, lots of confidence there. And the knight of cups, this is them coming towards you with an offer of love with a message of love, with a gesture of love. This person is definitely um, committed to stealing your heart, basically. Winning your heart. They're very confident about their feelings for you and about, you know, the potential they see with you, the relationship that, that they want to create with you. They're very confident. They're not, they don't have any doubts. So I do feel like with the three of wands, they are kind of taking their time though. They're kind of waiting, waiting for the right moment. Waiting for the right opportunity when, when they feel like they have everything in order in, in their life and, and just in their energy. They're, they're confident in their energy because they're not confident yet. With the three of wands, they're still kind of, um, you know, creating stability for themselves and, and gaining confidence in themselves. But I do see them eventually reaching this point of feeling confident and... I do see them coming towards you with an offer of love. How are you going to react? Let's see. Spirit, angels, and guides, how is Aries going to um, respond 
and react to this, this person? How is Aries going to respond to this person's actions towards them moving forward? How is Aries going to respond to this person's actions towards them moving forward? Seven of Cups, so confused, unsure, indecisive with the Seven of Cups. Okay. Yeah, I think this person knows that you're going to be unsure and, you know, indecisive. But I definitely feel like this person wants to prove their love to you. But with the Seven of Cups, you're not going to feel confident about... Um, accepting this person and their and their offer. Tell me more about how Aries is going to respond to this person, to this person's actions moving forward. Oh no, did I say Aries? I meant Taurus. Damn, darn. I'm sorry. If I said Aries, I'm sorry. You might be dealing with an Aries. I meant Taurus. How is Taurus going to respond to this person's actions? Two of Wands, again, indecisive, unsure. So you are kind of attracted to them, though. You do feel a connection with them. Otherwise, you wouldn't be you know, feeling confused and indecisive. I feel like there's something about this person that, you know, that does make you feel attracted to them, but you're just not completely sure if you see a future with them. Okay, so you're, you're gonna need more time to, to figure that out. But I feel like you're dealing with someone who's very patient. And like I said, you're dealing with someone who doesn't really plan on giving up on you and, and on what they want with you. Anything else about how, how there I said, I was going to say Aries, how Taurus, anything else about how Taurus is going to respond to this person? Moving forward to this person's actions. Oh, okay. We do have the Three of Cups. That's good. So you are going to... Um, I feel like you are going to accept to uh, connect with this person, meet up with this person, spend time with this person. This is also a card of friendship. So I feel like many of you Aries... Uh, again, Aries. Many of you Tauruses... <laughs> sorry. Many of you Tauruses are going to... Um, accept having a friendship with this person, okay? You might tell this person that, you know, you need time to, to really think about things and to, you know, get to know them more or just, you know, figure out your emotions. So you might tell them that, you know, we can be friends. We can start there. And, and just see where it goes. Okay, so I see that I see I see that happening here. Let's see any advice for you, Taurus. What's the advice for Taurus spirit in regards to this person? What should Taurus do? What should Taurus do? What's the advice for Taurus in regards to this person? Yeah, I have the I have the Taurus sign here. So just in case I I said Aries, it's Taurus. What should Taurus do? What's the advice for Taurus in regards to this person? Okay, we do have the Knight. Okay. Oh Sorry, the Knight of Wands in your advice. 
tell me more about that spirit. What's the advice for Taurus? What should Taurus do? The world. And the king of wands. I feel like this one too. The three of pentacles and the three of swords at the bottom. Three of swords, ace of swords, two of pentacles, death, ace of pentacles. Queen of cups, high priestess, tower, nine of swords. So it does look like you have some healing that you need to do, um, Taurus. Yeah, with the queen of cups, high priestess, tower, and nine of swords. Yeah, there's some healing that you still need to work on. This does look like it's a very good opportunity for you though, this person. It does look like um, this would be a good opportunity for you. But I do feel like the advice with the Three of Pentacles is to keep it at a friendship level. Keep, keep it at, at friends for now. Because it does look like you still need to um, work on your on yourself and work on on healing some sort of broken heart that you're carrying, and it wouldn't be wise to jump into anything new right now, in, into a new romantic relationship, you know. So I feel like this is telling you to you know pace yourself. Pace yourself, but don't, don't shut yourself out or don't shut this opportunity out because it does look like it's something that can help you and can support you. Mm-hmm. This can also tell you to focus on your money, your career, your work, um, your goals. Um, don't, uh, what do you call that? Don't um, stop giving attention to those things. Uh, it does look like that needs to be a priority right now. Your healing needs to be a priority and your goals, the per your personal goals need to be a priority. It does kind of look like love is, when it comes to love, it's not the right time for you. It's just not the right time for you. It looks like you're still kind of healing from some sort of, you know, intense, dramatic ending that you went through, painful ending that you went through. Um, so definitely listen to your intuition with the Queen of Cups and the High Priestess and give yourself the time and the space to, to recover, to, to recover from this past emotional um, breakup that you went through. And keep this person only as friends for now, you know? All right, well, that's, that's the advice, Taurus. So I hope that made sense to you and I hope it helped. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys, take care.